what's up guys welcome back to another thrift vlog i know this intro was a little bit different than normal but i was just not feeling myself this day i was not in the best mood but i decided to put on a good outfit and get ready do my hair do my makeup and feel good and then i headed to the thrift store i was super super excited to see this store it's new to me and i've heard such great things about it so let's get into it for spring i am specifically looking for button up cardigans or like long sleeve shirts like you guys know what i mean when i say that i'll pop a picture up on the screen i've been finding tons on like poshmark but i feel like those are so easy to thrift so i'm glad to be here and actually looking In addition to the fitted cardigans that I was mentioning, my spring clothing wish list consists of olive green, literally olive green anything, and light yellow. Those are kind of the two colors that I'm feeling for this year. Maybe mini skirts, some more good layering tops, any flat or like low heel shoe option, yes please. Sometimes I'll come and I'll just like sift through the racks, but today we're being thorough. This store that we're at right now is brand new. I've never been here. Well, it's not brand new, but it's brand new to me. And it was described in an article as the Taj Mahal of Goodwills. So very excited. Is this cute? I don't know. I found maybe a couple viable options as far as cardigans go, but I do want to check out shoes. Ooh, I just found sweaters. I feel like that might be where a lot of these are hiding. This is why thrifting in the Midwest is just better. I found this etc. cardigan, exactly what I was looking for. New with tags, $8. I found two bags. This black one has a little lock detail. It is $12.50. And then I found this bag. It is in really good condition. This would be like the perfect boat bag, beach bag, summer bag. And I love that it has the blue stripes. It's also $12.50. Another win for Midwest Thrifting, a brand new with tags, House of Harlow, gorgeous velvet dress for $10. This part is filling up so fast. Now I want to look at the skirts, but I also want to look at the shorts because I have been really into like the short shorts, hot shorts trend. So we're looking for pretty much skirts of any length and then some cute little short shorts. I literally found these in the skirt section. Tell me I didn't manifest this. $2, I think, or $3. I don't know. I ended up with the most massive packed cart of things ever and this took me forever to try it on so let's get into it first was this velvety dress new with tags from house of harlow which if you don't know is a revolve brand i snagged that up so fast next was this little graphic tee it says pieces the way which love that love a fitted tee this i thought could be cute but it was a little boxy and big so like if i decided to sew it or pin it it could maybe be cute but i passed on it i found what i thought was like a layered maxi dress like a layered gown but it ended up being this jumpsuit it's from white house black market and it's kind of like a tunic situation like i know you guys have seen that whole tunic over pants thing and that's what this was giving i kind of loved it even though i'm not usually shopping for black but what i was shopping for was cardigans like i said and i hit the freaking cardigan jackpot this one is from etc and it was brand new with tags and it was like seven bucks i found this floral one i couldn't decide let me know what you guys think i couldn't decide if it was a little bit too boxy i really loved the color of the flowers and the neckline of it i thought this could be cute for fall or winter with the fur but i was second guessing it it was kind of giving meh this one though i loved it reminded me of emma chamberlain i liked the color it's a little bit more bright than usual but I was just so happy that I found so many cardigan options. I, like I said, was not really in the best mood coming into this thrift video and I wasn't feeling the best filming and I just wasn't feeling the best about myself, but 
I found some of the best thrift finds that I've ever found. This jacket, love, love the fit, was undecided. Let me know what you guys think about these finds. I was a little undecided on a few of them and I'm wondering if I regret not getting some of them. I liked this blue shirt. I liked that it was like mesh and blue and more fitted. This, I couldn't decide if it was cute or not, but again, another cardigan. I said I hit the cardigan jackpot. I'm so happy with them. They are so cute. You can literally wear them with anything, leggings, jeans, skirts, over dresses, anything. We're gonna get into this haul. Let me start with the most exciting things. I got two things that are new with tags. The first one is this cardigan. It's from the brand, etc. I don't know if this exact cardigan is still for sale, but I think it was probably almost like $200, maybe even $250, and I got it for $787. And I was looking specifically for cardigans and tops like this. This was an amazing find and a testament to why thrifting in the Midwest is just better. It's just better. The next thing that's new with tags is maybe equally as exciting. It is this velvet one shoulder burgundy dress from House of Harlow. It says that it originally retailed for $68 and I got it for $10.37. I found three more tops that I was looking for. They're just like these simple button up cardigans, but I think they are so cute. I've been seeing them everywhere. Some people will like just button the top button. Some people will button just the middle. Some people will leave it open. Like I feel like Emma Chamberlain really started this trend and this was 488, but it was a blue tag. So it was 75% off. So I don't know, like a dollar. I also got this little short sleeve or like half sleeve kind of version of the same thing. But I really, really wanted like a yellow one, like a light yellow. This one I got for 488, I think. I also got a black one same sitch as the red one and this one was also 488. I have been really looking for like hot pants or hot shorts which are really just like short shorts but that's what they're calling them now. People layer, layer them with like tights like kind of how they would wear like mini skirts but tights and like the short shorts. I found this blue pair like this navy blue pair and these are so perfect. These I got for three dollars and a penny last shirt i love this this is from express it is this brown and lacy peplum halter high neck situation i love the mesh paneling i love the brown color i love the high neck i love the peplum this is from white house black market and at first i thought it was a layered dress because you can't really see right now but it's kind of like a tunic connected to what i thought was a maxi skirt but it's actually a jumpsuit but it is still the tunic. So you guys have seen like the tunic over pants or the dress over pants, and this is giving the same thing. I kind of love it. It has buttons on the side right here, and it was 1037. Let's get into the accessories. I got one pair of shoes. I got these brown kitten heels. They are super short, which I really appreciate. I love a short heel. I love comfort. And I have been really lacking a brown pair. These are from Chaps. They look like they are barely worn. I got them for $9.00 and 36 cents and then i got a scarf i wasn't really planning on getting a scarf but this one i love a cheetah print i love that it's not or not this is not cheetah print i love a zebra print and i love that it's not a black and white zebra print i love that it's tan and black Ugh, how much was this two dollars and five cents thrifting in the midwest is just better like the prices are so unbeatable. If I've learned one thing from traveling around everywhere and thrifting, it is that the Midwest has the best prices. Like everyone wants to hate on the Midwest because it's the Midwest, but if you're thrifting and you're looking for good finds, the Midwest is where you wanna be. Okay, three more things. I found this hat. I have been looking for more hat options, whether it's a bucket hat or a visor or a baseball cap or a headband. I just like hair accessories. And I've been looking for something that's more brown brown and tan-ish. Cute, love the colors, fits me well. Looks pretty unworn, honestly. I got this bag. I love that it is like a linen material and it has the tan leather with the cream and the navy blue. It is literally huge. It zips up. So this is the perfect, not only travel bag, but also beach bag, weekend bag, tote bag, picnic bag. Like this is going to be used literally all spring and summer. It's got a zipper pocket in the middle and this was 
$12.50. This bag was the most expensive thing that I bought. Can you believe that? The two brand new things with tags were not even as expensive as this bag. And that was everything I got while thrifting in St. Louis that was indeed the Taj Mahal of Goodwills. I am so impressed by the finds that I got. I found so many things off my spring wish list and I am now fully an advocate for thrifting in the Midwest. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.